Hey, I'm Tay, and today I'm gonna show you how I make my Nendoroids stand. But before this, please watch this new Kahotans video. This video was posted just one week ago and no details are available at the moment. The new stands seem pretty cool, I like them, but I'm sure it will take some time for us to get them in our hands. So I think it's the best time to present you another stand. That is perfect for Nendoroid photography, that I'm using myself and uh, that is easy to make yourself. For this you will need only a paper clip. Then take an endo. Not the whole thing, but <coughs> I'm sorry. You won't need the whole thing, but only this small peg, this small part. Take a paper clip, unbend it a little. When it's unbent, you take this small peg, put it in here, and just bend it around. For this you can use wires, but also it can be done by hands. So in the end you will have a small hole on one end of the wire, and this hole is perfect for the small peg. Like this. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole stand. And now you just take an endo and put the stand in the back. And that's pretty much it. It's not beautiful, pretty, fancy, whatever, but who cares? It works. Of course, I needed some time to get used to finding balance with such a stand. But it didn't take long, and now I'm using this stand pretty much always when I need an Android stand and when there is no wall to lean on. So uh, making an Android stand works just like this. You bend the paper clip as a third leg and you try make the Android stand. It doesn't. So you try another position for the paper clip. Take some adjustment, but on the third try the Android stands still, just like I needed. <laughs> All these four Nendoroids are standing thanks to the paper clips. I recommend using paper clips with soft cover, like these for example, not just metal ones. And please pay attention to the end of the paper clip that is on the back because it's easy to scratch the back of the Nando. Right now you can see that the pointy end of the paper clip doesn't touch the back of this Nendoroid. That's all I wanted to show you in this video, but I'm planning to make another one. In the next video I will show you how I make the stands disappear in the photo. It includes the small stands like paper clip ones and also the big ones like these ones. It's not easy to hide stands like this behind an android, but it's not impossible to get rid of them in the photo. So, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments. And for now, it's been Tess and Figures. My name is Tay, and bye!